Hi, so after enough practice, all of you should have this white cross at the bottom of your cube. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to find the white corner pieces, in other words, the four other white pieces, which have two other colors on them, how to find them from around the cube and to put them into the correct slot at each corner. So when you look for your white corner pieces that you need, you'll find that maybe, maybe, it's on this top layer here. That's a good thing. If the white pieces are up here on the top layer, you'll be able to find them. That is fantastic. For example, there's one there, and there's one there. We'll teach you how to put those into the bottom corner pieces, the corner places. Sometimes you'll find that the right piece is in this right place, but put in the wrong way. That's a little bit annoying. We're gonna to have to learn how to bring it back up to the top layer and then put it back down in the correct way. Sometimes you'll be really lucky and you'll have the right piece in the right place in the right way. That'll be cool. But anyway, um, in order to show you an example of how things move around and get placed, uh, we're gonna use a Lego model. So it's building time. So, this is the story of four bounty hunters. Uh, they're so evil and bad that they stole some pants from some trooper siblings. Hmm. You see they're wearing those white uh, trooper pants, right? And this is their spaceship, and they each have a space in the spaceship. If you look very carefully, the uh, green, red uh, stormtrooper, sorry, bounty hunter, sits in the green, red seat and the orange-blue bounty hunter sits in the orange-blue seat and the green-red bounty hunter sits in the green, very green-orange seat and they each have their own seat, right? It's a special custom-made spaceship for these bounty hunters, right? But what happened was this uh, spaceship which was flying around actually flew too close to the sun this is the sun, okay? This is the sun right here. You can see that's the sun. And what the sun did was to pull these bounty hunters into its gravitational orbit. So these bounty hunters are now floating around in space. Floating around, yeah, like this, all over the place. And our job is to get these bounty hunters back into their seats, right? There, it's going around like that, right? And these are their seats, right? How do we get these bounty hunters back into the correct seat? Well, what we do is we use this magic elevator. This magic elevator goes here it's very special because it only works on the front right of the spaceship and the front right here of the sun's gravitational orbit, right? And if you look very carefully at the three buttons on the... on the uh, elevator, we have one button here and one button here and one button here. There are three buttons, and each of these buttons represents something very different. Here's what it represents. Depending on the direction that the bounty hunter's pants are facing, you have to press a different button, and it'll, it'll uh, magically transport the bounty hunters from the sun's orbit into the correct seat. So, this is what we do. Let's say, for example, that um, the green red bounty hunter wants to go into his seat we put the green red at the bottom right this is the green red seat right here okay we put the green red bounty hunter right here and as we can see his pants are facing forward facing you guys right so the button that you have to press is this button 
which is the, if you can see these buttons, one has a, uh, a white facing front, this one has a white facing right, and this one has a white facing top. Each of these buttons corresponds to a different way that the bounty hunter's pants can be facing. For example, the pants can be facing front, or the pants can be facing right, or in this case of this upside down guy, the pants are facing up, right? Now, pressing these buttons activates a song which will make the bounty hunters go into their seat in the correct way. So, in order to learn what happens when you press the first button, it's now... Music, music time! time. Cool. So that was an easy first algorithm for you guys to learn, right? This is how it goes again. You are, you are... So, when the bounty hunter is facing with his pants front, and this guy happens to be a blue-orange bounty hunter. And if you want the blue-orange guy to go into the blue-orange seat, which you must spin around so that the seat is right underneath the guy, when you press that button, then it does that algorithm. Let's play it again, please. You are, you are... And you'll find that this person goes magically down into his correct seat. Okay? Now, let's learn the second case. The second case is if you find that the bounty hunter has his pants facing right. This is the green-orange bounty hunter here. So we will put the green-orange seat right underneath him. And for this guy, we'll have to press the second button. The second button um, has a white to the right. And in order to learn that algorithm, again, it's... Music time! This one's even easier in a way, right? This algorithm goes like this. Show me. Are you are? That's right. If you press the second button, when the white pants are facing to the right, it does that, and this bounty hunter will magically get transported into his correct seat. Now there's a third case. The third case is if the pants are facing up. If the bounty hunter is completely upside down like that and he wants to go into his seat, we'll line up the blue-red seat here at the bottom. We'll get the bounty hunter right there, right above it, both at the front right place. And we'll press this button. This button has a white facing up. In order to learn what happens when you press that button, again, it's music time! time. Okay, so that is the longest algorithm we've learned so far. It's pretty long. So, Sherman, can we have it one more time, please? Are you two, are you, are you, are? Okay, that may seem long and complicated, but actually it's a really useful one when you're going to solve the cube in more advanced ways later on. It's one that you're going to use actually a lot. So it's worth learning now. But right now, what that uh, algorithm does is to um, move this guy, the blue-red bounty hunter, who has his white pants facing up, and it magically transports him down to the correct seat, if you will put it that way, there you go, down here, so that now he's sitting in the correct seat. So it, again, this magic elevator beams people up from the top right to the top bottom. But what it also does is to beam the other way too. So sometimes, if you want to beam somebody up from the bottom to the top, you can use one of these buttons. I would use one of the simpler algorithms, the first or the second, to beam this one up. Sometimes you'll find a bounty hunter in the wrong seat. Then you would line him up underneath the elevator, beam him up, and then find the right seat, line it up, and beam him down again. Sometimes you'll find the right bounty hunter, the right piece, but sitting wrongly in his chair with his butt facing wrongly, he shouldn't be like that, right? He shouldn't be like that. Then what you would do is to use the magic elevator to beam him up into the sun's orbit and then use an algorithm to bring him down so that he's sitting correctly. Those are the different ways that we use the algorithms. So Chandler's going to show you the real life of how to do it with a cube now. 
So this is what a cube looks like. Right now we have a white cross at the bottom. In this case, it's a really fortunate thing because one of the corner pieces, the ones that we are chasing that we want to get right, is already there. A white, green, red piece is right there. This is the sun's orbit. You see a yellow sun there. And you can go round and round looking at all these bounty hunters who have their white pants on. And you have to find where the correct seat is. Now, I found this guy. He's a white, orange, blue guy. And we want to put him right here. So we line up the white, orange, blue bounty hunter right above the place where he belongs, where he should go. Some other pieces there right now. And now, we know that the butt is facing forward, so we use which algorithm? Go. You are, you are. When you do that, which is button number um, one. one, then that piece that was up there beams down into there. That's a nice one, right? Let me show you just one other example. For example, if we want to put uh, this one, he's a butt facing up, red, green, we will find the place where he belongs by going, the sun's orbit goes round and round. He is now in position for the magic elevator. He's at the front right place where this one can go down there now. And we use that longer algorithm now. Which one is it? Are you two? Are you? Are you? Are Beautiful! And that guy with the butt facing upwards with the white piece facing up is now sitting there in the right place. We're really filling up the bottom row. That's really beautifully done. Now here's a case where, oh, that's the right piece, white, orange, green, but he's sitting the wrong way. So we should bring him up to the top. So we'll use an algorithm, we'll use a simplest one to bring that one down to there, which means that one will pop up to the top, right? So let's do which one? Are you Okay, so now we found that this one has gone to the top level. Now it's in the sun's orbit again, and we can find, put him in position again, and now we can put him in properly by using, this is the longest algorithm, but it's kind of fun. Let's do it one, one, one last time. Are you two, are you, are you, are you? Okay, so now look at that. Congratulations, you have done all the corner pieces that means that all the four bounty hunters are sitting back in their UFO, in their spaceship, with their butts sitting, with their white butts sitting downwards. That is the first layer. You have completed the first layer. Congratulations. Move on to the next video.